Welcome to Wednesday of the first week of Lent. This is Father Mark Toops over at Christ the Redeemer Catholic Church in Thibodeau inside a podcast series entitled Intentional, which is designed to help us in this Lent to begin to choose to choose God, to become more intentional about living as a disciple of Jesus Christ. And if that's going to happen, then we have to be able to befriend all that God wants to give us whenever we face temptation so that we can choose to choose God in the face of temptation. And that's where we've been all week long. Yesterday, we talked about the false promises that are lured to us in the face of temptation. And today what I'd like to do is just encourage us to resist temptation immediately. In other words, the time to face temptation and to say no and therefore to say yes to God is at the very beginning of the temptation. Uh, to give you two, just two examples that I think we can connect with and I think we'll drive home the point. Right, If you're going to stop a snowball, you need to do that at the top of the mountain rather than at the bottom of the mountain. If there is a, an avalanche brewing and you can stop it somehow at the top of the mountain before it picks up steam and other snow and other devastation and all that physical energy, if you try to stop an avalanche at the bottom of the mountain, then we know what's going to happen to us, right? We're going we're gonna to be you might say engulfed by the power of the avalanche. But if you stop it at the top of the mountain, where it doesn't have the energy, it doesn't have the impact, the influence, then that's the time to say no, right? Same is true with temptation. If we say no at the very beginning, then we can move on into saying yes to God and allow the Lord to be with us. But if we entertain temptation, if we indulge the fantasy, if we consider the false promises that are bestowed to us or luring us, then we're, we're beginning to compromise our will. And the longer that we indulge the fantasy, the longer that we consider the options of the temptation, the harder it will be for us to say no. If you consider your own history, like whatever your most threatening temptation to you is, and if you look at your pattern of saying no to it, you'll come face to face with just the, the, the truth of what's there, right? If you say no immediately, you're going to be able to move on. But if it lingers, if it nips at you, if we indulge it, then we're, we're going to eventually just kind of give in. That's why it's important for us to know that whatever temptation is offering us, it's never going to come through on and it's never going to be good for us. And we can learn a lot about our spiritual life if we look back on being honest with when is it that you first begin to say no. Now, with that, I also want today to just highlight the fact that you and I are probably more susceptible to entertaining temptation whenever we are struggling with one of four phenomena. We call it a halt in the 12-step the program. Hungry, angry, lonely, and tired. Whenever we're hungry for something, right? Angry, lonely, or tired, it will be harder for us to say no immediately, and we will be more lured by the false promises that are given to us in the temptation. So not only do you want to resist temptation immediately, you want to know where you are in life as you face the temptation. Halt. Hungry, angry, lonely, tired. When you find yourself hungry, angry, lonely, or tired, it is even more important for us to immediately know what's happening in the temptation and to say no immediately. With that is... A requirement you say you might say of self-awareness and as we uh, land the plane in our conversation on tomorrow Friday and Saturday we're going to begin to equip you with some concrete spiritual exercises that you can put in your life that will help you sustain spiritual growth and say no to temptation however until that happens until we get there let's grow in self-awareness and look back today on your experience of temptation especially when you're hungry angry lonely tired what are you most vulnerable? Which one of those words, hungry, angry, lonely, tired, captures where you are now in life 
or whenever you are most susceptible to temptation. As I said, come on back tomorrow. We're going to start to equip you strong with some spiritual exercise to help you say yes to the Lord. And until we do that tomorrow, God bless you.